Here you are, Captain. Oh, thank you. Well, once the older guy got there, he... Here you go. Thank you, Vera. I am so sorry about this. Please, go on. Well, the older guy got there and, uh, oh, he tied me up and left me up on the bridge. This was before you set sail? Yeah, this was even before you got there, Miss Baldy. Uh, and then the younger guy, a uh, uh, black fella. McGregor. Yeah, yeah, I may, maybe. I don't know. He came on board. And right, right after that, I, I, I think I heard you come on with, with the other guy. You? Went on that boat? With Fletcher, the... please. Go on, Captain. Well, uh, after you left, we, we set sail. At... They started to argue. Who? Who was fighting? Well, uh, I couldn't say, uh, you know, who was saying what. I... What was the fight about? I, I don't know. I, I couldn't make out the words, only that they were bad. Then I heard the gunshots. What? what? Was anyone shot? I, I couldn't see. But the first man, he, he came up on the deck and uh, he ordered us back to the dock. And uh, when we got there, there were only two of them on board. Who was missing? Who was missing, Captain? The, uh, the one you brought on to the boat there, the, the, the one with the mask. Was he shot? You see what kind of trouble you could have gotten? Was he killed? I, I really couldn't say. I, I mean, he could have been. I don't know. But I, I know he did try to escape. The, the dinghy was missing, so maybe he... Look, I, I'm really very sorry, Miss Pauly. Listen, Captain, uh, did you overhear anything that could help us? A word, a phrase, anything at all? No, no, nothing, sir. Just the, the, the sounds of the voices. I, look, I, I felt lucky to get out of it alive. Did they threaten you? No, no, but I was very surprised. I mean, when we put up to port, they, they just left me on the boat. I mean, luckily, I was able to work my, my hands through the ropes because there, there was nobody on the dock there to help. I'm, I'm really very sorry. Look, I, I better go to the police and make a report. No! Thank you, Captain. I appreciate your help. Consider it settled, then. Oh, uh, enjoy your nephew's wedding. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye. It won't work. Of course it will. The captain is very loyal to the family. We've taken care of him for years. Of course you have. And maybe he won't go to the police, but that won't make this go away. Of course it will. Cassandra, you don't know what's been involved here. Now, you could be considered an accessory to a Look, I'm not act going to the police. Don't you understand? If Adam is dead, it doesn't matter. Now, I have a wedding to get ready for. I'm going to change. Alexandra Spaulding. Yes, yes, my captain reported the dinghy missing. Well, I, I guess whoever took it must have had a change of heart. Yes, I will. Thank you. What was that? The police, they found the dinghy tied up down at the river. So then Adam must have made it to shore. I hope so. You hope so. Don't you get it? This is a guy who's been using you and now he's come back he to do more. He was dodging bullets. I can't fault him for saving himself. How can you defend this man? At the very least, he's had a very rotten past. He was very kind to me. So was I. Yeah, well, I hope you dodge any bullets that come your way, too. Comparing him Look, to me, have... it's too... Comp you, you are the one who drew this comparison. That's right. I owe him a lot. I can't wish him harm. Not wishing him harm. And openly helping him. I mean, Alex, <laughs> two completely different things. I have to change for the wedding. Excuse me. Yeah, Wallace. Yes, it's me. Yes, it is. Your hero. Listen, I need a favor, guy. Yes, it's a big one, and don't call me boss. Can you be parked down in front of St. Paul's Episcopal Church, 2.45 this afternoon? Good boy. No. 
I don't know where we're going yet. Vera? Joseph? Spalding residence. Is Alan there? He's left town. What? He's gone. He's no longer here and nobody knows where he is. Who is this? Is Alexandra there? Is this Adam?